right, welcome everybody to the Culinary Workers Union, Local 226, Unite Here, beautiful Las Vegas. My name is Ted Papa George. I'm the president here at Local 226. We're very happy to be here as Nevadans hosting the First in the West Caucus. Nevada is a place to be for the next 10 days. We're the most diverse. We have strong labor unions. We think we are the most representative of our beautiful country uh, built by immigrants. And as you can see, uh, we have the best weather, a little better than the other two, two states, um, especially if you are from out of town, so enjoy our beautiful city. Those of you that are local, you know, you know us, but for those of you, uh, for any of you that may want to see what we do, we invite you to come and spend a few days with us. We're a fighting union. We handle thousands of grievances. Last year, we won over $2 million for our members in back pay. We help our members buy homes, become citizens. We organize workers to fight for justice and job security every day. And on next Wednesday, February 19th, we're going to have a picket line action at the Palms Casino, where workers have been fighting for justice against stations, casinos for several years. We will be inviting all the presidential candidates to join us, and uh, you are invited too. We hope you come. Uh, now, I would like to introduce the leader of our union, our Secretary Treasurer, Gio Condor Guayo Klein. Gio. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the Culinary Union. Uh, to the Unite Here Culinary Union Local 226. I know today is going, it's a very, very important day. I know we want to talk about the endorsement, but before we're doing that, we're going to talk to you a little bit about our union. We represent 60,000 workers in our union. We're the largest immigrant organization, and, and we are the majority of the people in our union are women, and we feel very proud about that. We uh, represent pe people from all over uh, the world. You know, we uh, represent 180 countries, and people speak 40 different languages. We feel very proud. Very proud what we've been doing here in Nevada because we build the middle class. The middle class and jobs like the guest room attending, kitchen workers, porters, cocktail waitress, we uh, feel so proud about that because we've been fighting for many years to have middle class wages, to have health insurance, a health insurance who protect the workers and all their, all their families and have a pension for people to retire one day with dignity and respect. But we were doing a lot of more things through all this year. For 84 years, 800,000 workers, they improved their life and their families live secure. But nothing being easy for the Unite Here Culinary Union Local 226. We've been in the fight for all this year in a lot of struggles, sacrifice, tears, and all these years to build this, to build this middle class. We have a strikers. We have our president, Ted Papa George. He was a striker at the Horseshoe for nine months and a half. We have the vice president, Liam Bichon. He was a striker. He's 45 years union member. He built this union too. And Myself, I was a lead organizer at the Frontier Strike for six years, four months, 10 days. We know what is a struggle, and we know what we, what we fighting is to protect our families. For all these years, we know how to protect our health care. Every human being deserves to have a good health care. We believe in that, but we believe in choices too. We believe in that. Our union, we build this union, and every single worker who participate and be part of us, they know what is the democratic process. We had negotiation. We vote. And the majority of the people, if they recommending a contract, they recommend that contract. We ratify contracts, and the majority of the people, if they accept the contract, 
they, we accept the contract. And when we have to fight, and we have struggles, and we had to make very tough decisions in 2018, we invite 25,000 people to make choices, to say yes or no, because we believe in choices. We believe in that democratic process. That is our union. We always make choices. Now, we know we've been working really hard because this year is the presidential year. We have the presidential election this year, and we work really hard to be sure the members know what uh, is going on with the presidential candidate. We have seven town halls at the union. We invite different presidential candidates. We have meetings with them. We have the presidential candidates talk about their issues. We have the members making questions in every single town hall. And we're not stopping that. We did an scorecard with every presidential uh, name, every candidate, and everyone explained their issues and how they stand. We bring this scorecard inside the hotels, inside the casinos. Thousands and thousands of people been receiving this scorecard for every presidential candidate. And we come up and listening the members. Now, Today is a very important day because we have an announcement, an official announcement from Unite Here, the Culinary Union Local 226. And the official announcement is we're going to endorse our, our goals, what we're doing. That's what we're going to endorse. We're not going to endorse a candidate, a political candidate. We respect every single uh, political candidate right now. We know they are great people. We know Vice President Biden for many years. We know he's been our friend. We know all these candidates and we respect each one of them because they work really hard and they want the best. But our, our decision is we have the economic issues. The economic issues is one job to be enough. That's one of our economic issues. The another issue we have how to have choices to protect our health care. We, we want to have our health care, how to make a better health care. And the another issue is we have 11 million people in this country fighting for a better life and suffering a lot because we have a president who see people only through the color of their skin. We know we have a lot of work to do and we have a commitment, a commitment to every person vote, the uh, Unite Here Culinary Union, we uh, work really hard. We knock in doors, we talk to people, we make phone calls, and we're gonna be sure people vote. But we know we'll endorse any political candidate. We will not. But uh, we're going to work really hard to defeat President Trump. That's what we want to do, to defeat President Trump. And, We feel two to six. Two to six. You know. Uh, and today, I know it's very important day, uh, but that's our decision. Uh, we really work really hard with every member. Uh, we give this a scorecard today, not the facts. Uh, and the, uh, the decision we make as a Unite Here Culinary Union Local 226, officially we will not endorse any political candidate, but we committed to people vote and we're going to really work hard to defeat Trump. And thank you so much for being here today. If you have questions, uh, we are willing to answer any questions you have. Sorry. Um, so we're going to take five questions, and uh, I think well, let's start over here. Go ahead, someone over here. Sí, señora. Señor.
Nosotros hemos uh, trabajado con todos los candidatos uh, y le hemos dado un scorecard a, a todos los trabajadores que miren dónde los candidatos están con los issues. Y nosotros lo que le estamos dando es el conocimiento y la decisión que tomamos, el goal de nosotros es proteger one job to be enough, tener un trabajo suficiente para cada familia proteger la seguridad médica y tener una mejor seguridad para todo el mundo y también uh, tener una reforma migratoria, pero nosotros vamos a trabajar muy duro para que voten las personas. Ok, I, I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, in English, uh, the question he makes uh, is uh, if we're not going to uh, 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 do anything for, with any candidate and with Senator Bernie Sanders, what I'm saying is Uh, we give all the information to the members. Uh, we put in a scorecard. In the scorecard, they have every candidate being that is what they saying about immigration, what they saying about their health care, what they saying about the economic issues. Members being learning about every single candidate. And right now, our goal is to concentrate 100% to have the people vote, but that we have three goals. With so one, our goal is one job to be enough. Second goal is to have protect the health care and have better health care for everybody. And the third goal is to have an immigration reform where we've been fighting for decades. Okay. This is the first time that you endorse yeah. the candidate. Megan. Yeah. Yeah. So this morning, uh, Bernie Sanders tweeted that he stands with the culinary union. If you need to hear more from Bernie Sanders, um, can you dime in his supporters who have attacked the union as you said yesterday? We respect Senator Sanders. Uh, we invite him to the union. Uh, he was here in a town hall, and we took Senator Sanders to the Culinary Health Center. Uh, we really, we concentrate right now and uh, keeping talking to our members about the situation. What is our goals? Uh, one job to be enough. We want to protect and have a choice because we, are a, we believe in democratic process. That's what we believe. Democratic process. People have to have choice in life. The membership? Yes, they vote on whether or not they vote. The members, they decide. Right now, the union was saying, you know, you have this information. You know what we, how we stand with the health care. Uh, you know the immigration issue. You know who every single presidential candidate, what they saying, and they going to make decision. Like, you know, when they go into the strike ball, they make decision. The, the members that they, they know both they had the they had the all the information and you know our endorsement as a union right now is our goals nosotros vamos, we, we're gonna work really hard vamos a trabajar muy duro for defeat trump Yes, yes, we did surveys, and we're asking the member what they really, what is their issue, what they're thinking about. And, so the, members behind said you. They didn't and the members, they uh, writing in the surveys uh, all the questions we make, you know, and they understanding what's happening right now. We've been fighting for 84 years, and this, and, the, and no, I answer to you. No, no. They yeah. know what they need. Uh, you know, one of the things, the members, they, are, they want to protect their health care. That's one thing they being Next very question. clear. Yeah. You, you mentioned Medicare for all. I know that's a, something you strongly oppose. Could you find a message to your members that candidates who got Medicare for all should be supporting? I think, uh, you know, we know and we believe every human being, they have the right to have health care, but we believe we had to make choices too, and everybody have the right to make choices. We believe in that. And that's our union, believe in the democratic process. That's why we, we have all the time the vote. You, you, you mentioned Joe Biden, he's got an event in the 
Joe Biden on Saturday? We don't have an event with Joe No, Biden. we don't have an event uh, with Joe Biden on uh, Saturday. One of our affiliates is no, the we ha- Academy, which everyone can access. Yeah, we have, seven, we have seven town halls, and we invite the presidential candidate to come over here, and we had that event too with them. Uh, we going we going to support uh, the M. You know, we going to uh, be sure every member vote. That's what we're going to work really hard. You know, we're going to be in the neighborhoods. We're going to make phone calls. We're going to do everything. What we want to is to defeat Trump. Well, uh, we don't have concerns right now. You know, we believe it's going to work. You know, here, I think it we, it's going to work. Next question. Uh, the, the, what we're saying in the, uh, in the scorecard. Yeah. What have you been hearing from people, the attacks that you mentioned yesterday after you put out the scorecard? What have those attacks been, what have they been saying to you? Well, you know what? I don't like to focus on that right now. Uh, what I like to focus is on our goals. Uh, our goals right now is really uh, focus on how one job should be enough. Uh, I think, uh, you know, our union is really tough. When you've been in six years, four months, and then on strike, and you've been fighting the station casino from 2010, where we don't have a contract, we know how it's not easy to get things across the table. We know that. That's our experience. It's about if, uh, our vice president, 45 years yes. union member. He been in many, many negotiations. Uh, our president, nine months and a half in a strike, a station worker, they've been fighting for a contract for uh, from 2010. And I've been in, a, you know, I was in a strike for six years for a day with the Frontier Strikers. We know what is a, in a fight. It's not like, a, you know, we are af- afraid to fight. We know exactly, since they can be very, very difficult when employers fight. I think uh, right now uh, our focus is on one job to be enough for families. And every presidential candidate, they have the opportunity to make it better, you know, for the country and have one job to be enough. Uh, keeping our health care and have a choice, I think it's very important for us. And uh, having immigration reform for 11 million people uh, is one thing I think uh, the, our, our entire union is really Focus on that because you know we represent 180 countries. Kim? Well, a lot of the members have been advancing coming towards you after the victory in Iran the first time. Are you seeing some comments from people that maybe aren't very well versed in labor, labor history? What do you think that national media here coming out here to cover this need to understand about culinary history in order to be able to understand why you've made this decision? Uh, we make a decision because, uh, you know, we, uh, we know the members too. We're very close with the rank and file. We negotiate contract and behind us is 400, 500 leaders. Uh, when we have a strike ball, we have 25,000 people together. We make decision on that together. And one of the things is we know how they've been sacrificed for their health care. Okay, so last okay, one. Last one. Excuse me, can you repeat the question? Uh, what I be, well, we've been putting it the facts and the scorecard. Our goal is to defeat Trump. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, folks who have one-on-one requests, I can facilitate that. Do you okay. around? Guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So one last thing, Thank just you. want to invite folks on the 19th to the Palms. We got a picket action over there. Let's finish up with a little bit of a good Union 226. Unite here, 226. Unite here! 226! Unite here!